Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. The Ellen Show has been running for longer than some of us have been alive, so it goes without saying that there have been more guests than you can shake a stick at. Some featured celebs are loved the world over, while others can divide opinion entirely. Others are just plain hated. Some of the famous names you're about to see appeared on the show in the peak of their infamy, while others would go on to become notorious for all the wrong reasons. Join us as we take a look at the most hated guests ever to appear on Ellen. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. The Kardashians At some point or another, all of the Kardashian-Jenner clan have appeared on the show. While they might be some of the richest, most famous people in the world, they're just as hated as they are liked. This is a family that have a pretty checkered rise to fame. No one knew who Kim was before the famous sex tape leaked, as their dad was the lawyer who defended O.J. Simpson, a person who many believe is guilty of murdering his young wife. This reality family has turned being famous for nothing into a fine art. They don't sing, they don't dance, they've just managed to capitalize on the success of their reality TV fame by creating businesses. It's no secret that Kylie Jenner is the youngest billionaire in the world thanks to her beauty line, which was helped massively by the amount of plastic surgery she has had. For every person that's a diehard Kardashian fan, there's another five who don't see the points to them. Ellen is quite close with the family, and Kim and Kanye frequently attend her birthday bashes. Amanda Bynes Once upon a blue moon, Amanda Bynes had a promising career. The child star worked steadily throughout the Nazis, but like many youngsters in the limelight, things went downhill fast. Everyone who worked with Bynes throughout her fledging career could never have predicted that she would go off the rails. One producer who was frequently on set with her said she was as clean cut as Marcia Brady, a statement that would come back to haunt him years on. Between 2012 and 2015, the Amanda Show star had a very public, very messy breakdown that permanently changed the public opinion of her. She was arrested for driving under the influence and then was found smoking pot in the lobby of her apartment building. When the officers tried to take a look inside her property, she threw the bong out of the window. We don't have time to go into all the crazy antics of this good girl gone wild, like the time she said she was going to kill her parents, or the time Amanda tried to set fire to a stranger's driveway, but believe us when we say it's nuts. Bynes appeared on the show post-crazy, but it's interesting to look back on it now and see how badly things have gone for the star. Kevin Federline Cast your minds back to 2004, when Britney Spears had yet to break down and she had just married her backup dancer, Kevin Federline. The couple ended their relationship after two years, but appeared on The Ellen Show during a happier time. These days, Kevin is notoriously disliked by any Britney fan on the planet. The dancer-turned-rapper left his pregnant fiancé to hook up with Brit, causing many to believe that K-Fed was just after her money. The couple had two sons together. John Preston and Jaden James. Unfortunately, when they went their separate ways, it was one of the messiest celebrity divorces the world has ever seen, accompanied by one of the most savage custody battles. Both parties wanted sole physical custody of the kids, and by this time, Britney was on the edge of shaving her head and going crazy in front of the paps. When the judge rules that the boys would stay with their dad, Britney was hospitalized, and clearly not coming with the situation in any shape or form. All of this coupled with his crappy acting skills and rap skills make Kevin one of the most hated celebs to have ever appeared on Ellen. Thank goodness we don't hear much from him these days. Bill Clinton as far as presidents go, Bill isn't the most hated. That title is held by the current president of the United States, whom Ellen refuses to have on her show. However, Bill left such a bad taste in the mouths of voters in the 90s that some people still really hate him. Clinton is most famous for his impeachment, and that affair with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. The former president famously denies that there were any inappropriate relations with that woman, before hard evidence was brought forward that 
forced him to admit it. He lost all credibility in the eyes of the public, and that's not to mention the problem that people had with his politics. Who likes a liar? No one. Plus, taking advantage of an intern 20 years your junior is not a good look for anyone. Despite all this, Bill remains a pretty prominent figure and has appeared on The Ellen Show several times, talking about everything from his love of being a grandfather to his wife's failed bid for the presidency. Some viewers were struck by his charisma, but for a lot of us, when he talked about Hillary at all, it just seems to be fake, considering the whole cheating scandal. Hill must be a saint to put up with Bill. Lena Dunham Lena Dunham is one of the most Marmite celebrities out there at the moment. You either love her or you hate her. The writer, actress, and producer rose to prominence after her show Girls became a hit. Dunham is an avid feminist, but her views aren't always well received by the wider public. Some people also can't get over the fact that she is comfortable being naked on TV despite being a size zero. The star also isn't afraid to voice her opinion or be honest about her life, which has gotten her into some pretty big trouble in the past. After the release of her book, Not That Kind of Girl, a passage about an encounter with her younger sister was massively taken out of context and is often used against her all these years on. Lena herself admits that she often makes mistakes, like the time she publicly defended a male colleague after he was accused of sexual misconduct, but it does little to win over her enemies. In fact, look at almost any of the comments underneath articles published about her and it's 90% hate. Lena keeps on keeping on, though, and has appeared on Ellen a few times to talk about her various ventures in the entertainment biz. Mel B. It's harder to list the reasons why people like Mel B than it is to list the reasons why people hate her. There's so much ground to cover here, so buckle up. Not only was Mel largely cited as the reason for the Spice Girls splitting up in the 90s, but her outspoken OTT attitude frequently lands her in hot water, although it's also the very thing that keeps her in work. Now a judge on The X Factor, the pop star is well known for being hard to impress. She said many an out-of-turn thing in her time, but it's her personal relationships that have left people seething. Her highly publicized divorce saw details of her intimate life splattered across the front page Ages, including allegations from the nanny that Mel often had her engage in, shall we say, extracurricular activities with the married couple. Prior to that relationship, Mel had a daughter by comedian Eddie Murphy, who accused Hall the hitmaker of tricking him into being a dad. Brown told an entirely different story and said the pregnancy was planned, but the millions of Eddie fans across the world didn't believe her. Murphy himself refused to be a part of the child's life as apparently he couldn't bear to see the singer ever again. Due to her fame and pop culture icon status, Mel is a frequent guest on talk shows, including Ellen. I'm nodding my head like, yeah. Now your hands. Moving my hips like, yeah. Miley Cyrus. Miley is the ultimate good girl gone bad. Although she's calmed down a bit over the last year or two, there was a time when Miley was so intent on shredding her Hannah Montana image that she just went crazier than a box of frogs. The young starlet cut her hair super short and was basically naked for a good few years, gyrating on everything in sight. Miley went from the role model moms loved their kids to like to the example of what kids shouldn't do. Let's not forget the time that pop icon Sinead O'Connor wrote an open letter to her telling her to take control of her career and not let the industry ruin her. Miley shot back in a pretty nasty way, calling Sinead crazy and basically denouncing her on Twitter. Hardly the way to respect your elders there, is it? Cyrus has regained some credibility recently, but it was touch and go for a second there. Plus, she'll never be as popular with mums ever again. That's fan club is closed down for good. Being the megastar that she is, Miley has been on Ellen multiple times to talk about her music, her love life, and other bits and bobs. Kanye West 
When rapper Kanye West first popped up on our radars, he seems like the savior of hip-hop. His music was good, he seems like an okay guy, and most of all, didn't seem like a sandwich short of a picnic. These days, West is frequently the target of ridicule thanks to his increasingly bizarre behavior. Remember the time he got up on stage and embarrassed a young Taylor Swift by saying Beyonce should have won? That was just the beginning. West is the most unlikely Trump supporter out there and even recently said that he thought slavery should be brought back. His rants on live TV and odd political views have lost him scores of fans. Plus, he married another disliked celeb, Kim Kardashian. Together, the couple rank quite high on the public hate meter It's a shame, as it really didn't have to be this way, ye. It's interesting to note that Ellen still counts Kanye as a friend, even though she is an outspoken opposer of the current president of the United States. We bet those dinner conversations are interesting. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.